Hey friends, welcome to the Los Angeles Convention Center, home of Adobe Max 2019. This is what it looks like now at the end of Wednesday, but this is what it looked like just an hour ago. Let's work our way into the final hour of the Adobe Max Marketplace, where they bring in artists, craftspeople, that use their products to create their own product lines. This is where my career was at, and to anybody out there that's looking for more creative freedom in, in what you do for a living, this is the best strategy. Do the work that you wanna do, people will see it, people will hopefully become a fan of it, and you'll get hired to do more, you'll sell more, you'll create revenue streams, but most importantly, you'll start doing the work of your dreams because everybody hires themselves for their dream job. So shout out to Adobe for giving the makers the front row of the convention center on Wednesday. These folks are paying tens of thousands of dollars, maybe even $100,000 to be there. It's nice to see the little guy get rewarded, and that's where today's adventure begins. Well, well. Well. Hillbilly alert. <laughs> it's the South right here. My Hard spidey start. senses tell me that there's fellow rednecks <laughs> yeah. that have wandered into Los Angeles. I was going to say, man, you're not too far removed. Oh, it's no. Far. I'm yeah. around my own kind. Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody have some raccoon or squirrel from back home that I could snack on? <laughs> I got some in my back pocket right here. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off with my friends from Nashville, Tennessee, Derek Castle and his wife, Jennifer Castle, Primitive Prince. In the far right hand corner, a lot of the work that you see, Derek actually hand carves into these wood blocks. He uses Photoshop and Illustrator to put these together for printing, but it's the hand carved nature of what he does that makes him stand out amongst the rest. And in a saturated world where everybody's uh, an amazing illustrator and has a fantastic career, you got to find that way to differentiate yourself from the pack. These illustrations that he does of women are phenomenal, easy one color print solid illustration, and as always, the importance of consistency of style. This hole shows that there's a print missing, and you'll see a lot of booths that have items missing because they're sold out. And I did the right thing by coming in the very last hour and not interrupting folks while they're trying to make that big money that comes when the doors open. Now that's explained, let's move along. This is a test print. I think I may have taught Derek how to do this. You take test sheets with various colors on them, and then you finish it off trapping it with a one color black illustration, which then frames in all of the layering beneath the black. It's a fantastic way to make original one-off items. Derek's day job is working at an in-house agency. As you see with his freelance work, this consistency of style is how he's always getting hired to do really big projects and having people hire him to do exactly what he wants. Draw the world the way he sees it. If you feel stuck as a freelancer, that's my advice to get a little bit of freedom. It worked for myself personally, and these two hillbillies are living proof that the way you get the job that you want is first, you gotta hire yourself. And keep in mind, when you're here promoting your business, you're also making money for every print that you sell. Here's Tatley, they do temporary tattoos. I'm sleeved with real ones, so let's move on. Let's look at the work of Chris Lee. Find him on Instagram, at the beast is back. Let's set that convention center aperture and check out all of his personal work you may be familiar with some of the stuff that he does for target that seems to be his big client these days and it makes sense with such a fun whimsical but very design and controlled illustration style i want to pause for a minute because look at this height that he creates how this creates a visual line by getting the merchandise vertical and not just laying flat on the table sure these patches and pens you win with extra sales and they're cheap and affordable things to produce but going vertical is crucial when you're trying to capture attention and sales while live vending chris lee look at the texture in those illustrations nice series oh hello oh hello friend little friends of printmaking. James and Melissa have been at this for a long time. They collaborate together as a husband and wife illustration printmaking team. Their illustration style, I just adore. So much color, so much story, reusing similar characters over and over again. They're obsessed with their cats and it shows in all of their work. Using your characters and your signage and die cutting them allows others to realize, hey, these folks make characters, maybe I'll hire them to do mine. A wall of patches and pens, getting them vertical up off the table creates good sight lines. And when you're wondering what to illustrate, illustrate what you know. This is the happiest print shop you'll ever see. I'll tell you why I'm a fan of Jenna from Vitchcraft. Not only is she a fantastic typographer, but she has something to say. We live in crazy times. Just pick a topic and tackle it. Don't be afraid of losing a couple Instagram followers. 
Earlier, we were talking about creating a competitive edge in the marketplace. 6x6 appears to have invested in a CNC machine, allowing them to take their designs into reclaimed, repurposed wood, making their product line seem very different and stands out among the rest of the marketplace vendors. Find a machine, lease it, pay it back when you make sales, get that competitive edge. This is Adam J. Kurtz. He doesn't reply to emails when you ask him for a podcast interview, so let's move on. I understand plastic to protect your prints, but it makes it very hard for people to see them when the convention center lights blast them out. Look at the difference when we look at Brainstorm's prints they have hanging on the back wall of their booth. Night and day, don't let the plastic come between you and your people. Fantastic series themed prints following what people love, where they live, where they've been, or where they want to go. Having your studio known for an established series of art prints makes it easier to capture customers over and over again. It also helps inform clients what your sweet spot is and what you want to do and how you can do it for them. Save $5 when you buy two prints. That stuff works. Hey! <laughs> you see that? What's up? It's, it's, that head whip, it's though. It's us in the house! How you oh doing? my gosh, how are you? Good to see you. First of all, thank you for your support. Um, your You're wife welcome. is not 40. She's 30 at I, most. She is 40. Help. I have the papers to prove it. I have the paperwork. <laughs> She's like getting ready to get traded in for a newer oh, model. Shit. Sorry, catching up with my bud, Amy Hood, while looking at Burn, B-V-R-N, skateboards. I'm not familiar with Capricorn Press. They were busy. They had some customers, so I didn't want to bother them. And I'm Sagittarius, so I don't even know if we're compatible anyway. Do love that record Ben vibe. Tad Carpenter, Carpenter Collective. Fun fact, our first ever show, we were neighbors. I'm burning all. How you been? Good, man. How are things? Things are great. Tad and I go way back to the old school. Been fun following his career of illustration, printmaking, and everything I've talked about on today's uh, video. This is how he auditioned to get all of the big client work that he's been able to capture over the years by just in his own discipline, making his own art prints, going out, speaking about the work that he does. You may say posters, we say giant business cards, allowing the world to see what he's capable to do when they want to hire him for his bright and fun, natured, consistent style. Shays Gagin, Shays Gane, Shagane. Ah, even bitches say thank you. Love a good sassy stationary line. Even more, I love coffee cups that don't give a fuck. Here's my homie from Chomp Brand. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Look at JC. Take the wheel. This guy's always hitting it. Been going a long time. Southern California based. Trying out different products like cool coffin air fresheners. Mmm, what I wouldn't give to smell more like a coffin. Patches, Chomp Brand. Put in JC behind the wheel. Wish it was a Fiero. Oh, one of my all-time best friends, Dan Styles. No pictures, please. Please, <laughs> please. Do you think you could stop me from bootlegging this? <laughs> you try. Uh, take pictures of our empty table. Should have shown up when we had stuff for sale, Mark. Yeah. Where you been? Well, if I show up early, I'm an annoyance. I annoy people and cost them money. Now I just annoy people. When the economy started to melt down, Dan said, I'm not going to hit the panic button. Forget about clients. I'm going to focus on my own stuff. Years later, he's back to working for clients, but in the most liberating way, hiring him to do his own stuff that he did when the economy melted down. Full circle. He's now just illustrating what he wants for the clients that he picks. When, when, Dan Styles. Oh, what's behind the wall? I see my buds. DKNG with Retro Texture Supply hanging out. Hey, Dan. Oh, hey. Hey, I, uh, iPhone Pro. Get out of my way, Dan, so I can film your booth. Move. Shoo, shoo, Culkin. Shoo. Get out of here. I'm done, Dan. You can come back up. Invisible hey. hey. stick. What's up? you wearing it. This is why you film at the end, because you can get your friends just to play staircase in their booth as they're winding down a successful day of vending. I'm going to properly address you in a second. I'm trying to work. My buds DK and G, like everybody else, they use their art prints to not only create revenue streams, but to show the world the best work that they can do. I'm, I'm repeating myself, but this is a strategy that works, and I can't believe more people don't do it to change their design career. DKNG, 
my best homies. Back from my motherland of Kentucky, Durham brand came out from Kentucky to do Adobe Max. They have a different strategy, more of creating a brand, creating a lifestyle. It's a harder thing to get off the ground, but if you can get there, it is a sweet spot to be. Do love the heavy text-driven designs and the culture that they're trying to create. Alex Pearson of The Family Tree, we go way back. We have a similar bond of loving series, trying to find things that people love that we also love so you get the opportunity to illustrate and explore it over and over again. Whether it's space or these beautiful state designs, Alex has learned the power of repetition in marketing and sales. I just want to say I really appreciate the work that you Oh, I appreciate that so much. You got me through a lot of long years. Yeah, that's my, I love being shotgun in the car, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I had a buddy that I carpooled with for two years straight and then he left the company and had like two years and then, then I was your carpool buddy. That's amazing. The camera didn't change much. <laughs> Always enjoy going out to these things and getting to meet listeners of the podcast and hearing how people consume these insane interviews and recordings that do here in this little studio in LA. We now look over at the design work of Hellcat done by the Oars. Once again, getting your artwork vertical, creating tons of different types of products, t-shirts, pens, stickers, cards. Just try to find every different way you can to capture a cell. Hoodspur, shine on, Jennifer and Amy Hood, Hood Sisters. Once again, shout out to Kentucky. They're from Southern California, but they got California roots. I remember their first interview on Adventures in Design. We were talking about the birth of odds and sods, and now it's a real boy, Pinocchio. Jennifer and Amy Hood, what I respect about them most, they put just as much effort into their business sense, their business practice, and the evolution of their business as they do their artwork. A lot of people tend to neglect one or the other. They seem to have the perfect balance of style and business. And look, ladies selling to ladies. 2019, y'all. The Hood Sisters do shine on as a shining example of where women can go in the art space. Inch by Inch is a cool non-prof working with artists and designers to raise money for art educational programs. I see my buds Lincoln Design Co. on the table next to what appears to be a little tag carpenter. These are the folks that they work with to make this happen, to deliver Good, yeah. Good. top quality products that will help raise money for student art programs. I, I recognize you, man. <laughs> you do anything out here? Still so weird to get recognized by just your speaking voice. The booth looks so good, such a great initiative. I got to get these people on the show. It's okay. Some artists use a abstract name, but Kitchen Delicious, pretty true to, to brand. Both delicious and kitschy. Excuse me for saying, look at that sexy avocado toast. Breakfast just got frisky. I got to sit down and do an interview with Nick from Mama Sauce. Look for that coming out on Adventures in Design in the future. Mama Sauce is a specialty printing company focusing on a high level of screen printing, packaging, design. Over the years, they've really narrowed down the scope of what it is that they want to do and who they want to work for. Finding your place in the art space is crucial. Here's a test print that we talked about earlier in the episode, just layers and layers of printing. Mama Sauce Print Shop from Orlando. They claim Disney World's better than Disneyland. It sounds to me that the hometown pride is clouding their judgment. We all know the truth. Mimo Chai nailed it. Don't know much about her. She was busy. Didn't want to bother, but once again, ladies supporting ladies. 2019. Mystic Mondays. Designer tarot cards. I should have got a reading. I just hope that that dark, handsome stranger's in my future. Cool pin set. Listen to that applause for Dre and Cisco of Never Made. You got it. Nailed it. Proper pronunciation. <laughs> These guys have been hard grinding on their brand. I've been buds with them since the beginning and it was fun to watch the accidental evolution of Cisco doing some freelance design work, getting picked up by Urban Outfitters, getting an order that was so big, he's like, either we do this and explode or we don't do this and we go away. Well, we all know that they decided to go with explode and the brand's been doing so ever since with their style. Paper Chase Press. Paper company have their samples out, some very interesting cut notebooks, and every designer loves paper samples. 
Tuesday's Basin from here in Los Angeles. I think I'm noticing something. The lady booths are all busy while the guys decide just to hang out. Another vertical pen and patch wall. Get those table items up in the sight lines. And we finished today, finished the convention with Slapstick, the sticker makers. And look at this hustle with different themes and series turning the sticker game into their full-time game. The reason why I picked this corner of Adobe Max to focus on and to showcase is because Dave Grohl and Billie Eilish, they don't need my help. And I don't think that these folks need my help either. But what I would like to do is help you become a better designer and get more with your talents. All of the folks that I showed you use the Adobe products, use their talents to figure out their space in the Adobe ecosystem. Designing for yourself is not only a way to become a better designer, but it's the best way to get the jobs that you want to do. So if you look at your career and you wonder, why am I stuck here when others are going further and further? I ask you, how often have you stuck your neck out? How often have you auditioned for the job you want to get? Or are you doing more and more of the same, expecting different results? The reason why there's no sound here is because the Foo Fighters are playing and I don't want to get this video copy struck. But I did think that it was important to show you makers that are using these products to make a better career for themselves and to urge you to think about getting into making work for yourself. And when you do so, some of the best practices on setting up a booth, clear price signs, getting as much of your products vertical as you can, newsflash, tabletops, don't reach out to attention. And keep in mind, maybe this is the best way to grab that client that you've always wanted to get. And while you're waiting for them to show up, make a little bit of that sweet, sweet passive income, pen by pen, patch by patch, sticker by sticker, or art print by art print. When I think about who the stars of Adobe Max are, it's these folks that I just showed you. Small, independent shops, designers that found a way to use the software and technology to liberate themselves to wake up each and every day and work on the projects that they wanna work on, doing the type of things that they wanna do, and building their own brand. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and all that other crap. I appreciate it because it makes the channel grow. And thank you for watching my unique coverage of Adobe Max Creative Marketplace. Hey friends, I'm on the floor at Adobe Max 2019. This is it getting ripped away. This is it getting ripped apart. But this is what it looked like just two hours ago.